guys. I'm Hemant Malan. And I'm Harsh Pathari. And I'm Varsh Kancharla. And we are from Dayal Sahar College of Engineering. Today, today uh, we'll be showing you how to perform saying age ex experiment. And uh, yeah, it'll be fun. The aim of the experiment is determination of modulus of elasticity of mild steel specimen using strain gauges. And now uh, you can see over here, as you can see, this is the indicator of whatever the load that we put in over there. So it will be basically indicating everything. And on top of that, here is a zero setting one, which the knob, you, you have to turn it uh, to zero. Suppose if, the, if it's getting fluctuated or uh, if it's above or below that. And uh, as you can see over there, uh, that's a stabilizer. Sometimes because of the fluctuation over there, uh, it'll be getting fluctuated over here also. And on top of that, uh, here, you, as you can see, there is quarter wheat stone, half wheat stone, and uh, the whole wheat stone bridge. So the, basically, the difference is, uh, as you as you know, as you guys know, the strain gauge. Uh, I mean, the basically the wheat stone bridge has four uh, resistors, right? And uh, in half breed stone, we'll be having two resistors, and uh, in quarter, we'll be having only one. And uh, it's a different kind of arrangement will be happening inside. You can, uh, we always do the experiment basically with uh, the one with stone bridge. And as you guys can see, this is the dead waste that we kept over here, so we can do the experiment. And inside this, uh, it, it is a mild steel specimen, and the length is 250 millimeter and breadth is 25 millimeter and the thickness of this uh, mild steel specimen it's 1.6 millimeter so as you know guys you have learned about the aim of the experiment all the apparatus used and the theory behind the experiment now let's just uh, jump straight into the, experiment, the procedure as you uh, see this is not set to zero so you have to calibrate this to zero we can do that by turning the small knob over here which is called the calibration knob let's turn this and find out is now calibrated to zero. This was done with the help of this knob over here. The value is still fluctuating because of the stabilizer over there. Now we are going to jump into the experiment. For this experiment we keep the weights one by one on the bar over there which uh, then indicated the st strain which is caused on the mild steel. Now let's keep a hundred gram weight on this bar on this plate over here. As you can see a hundred gram plate causes a strain of 78 on the mild steel. Now like this, we increase uh, all the weights in the order of uh, every 100 grams. So now let's add another 100 grams over here. Now the weight, uh, the values again increase. Like that we add another uh, 100 grams. This is totally of 300 grams. Now you can see the values again increasing. Like that, we keep on adding weights and now we take all the values recorded over here and then make a tabular column in the records. With that, we calculate the Young's modulus uh, that has been applied on this mild steel. So basically the objective of this experiment is to become familiar with the electric resistance, strain gauge techniques and utilize such gauges for a determination of unknown quantities such as strain, stress and Young's modulus at a prescribed conditions of cantilever beam. As uh, we introduced ourselves before, we are all the students of uh, Automobile Engineering Van and Server and basically the applications of what strain gauge does with Automobile Engineering is when you have to design a chassis, when you have to design a car, out exterior, interior, everything, well, you, even when you are fitting a, some sort of nut in any of the automobile body, you have to make sure the strain of how much it is and how it impacts the overall configuration of the body so you have to make sure you have to you know all the applications of whatever you do in lab experiments as lab experiments you should be knowing what applications it involves in practical world like this strain gauge there are many type of uh, strain gauges the fundamental structure of strain gauge consists of grid shaped sensing element of thin metallic resistive foil that is sandwiched between base of the thin plastic film and covering of a lamination of thin film and that's how it is basically manufactured and uh, withered out hence uh, we are in the conclusion part of the video uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, hope you guys really learned something from this uh, all the best if you guys have some sort of exams related to this and thank you